Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back from another Dragalia launch video. Today, we're going to be going over Isaac, who is the brand new lightbow unit, and Raphael, who is a light dragon, who is going to be in the prize showcase coming up. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me about how you feel about these two, or anything discussed in the video, and you can subscribe to me for uh, more videos featuring me. All right, let's get into it. This is the third time I'm recording this video, and the reason is is that every time I had to come back and be like, I don't think I got my point across, or I don't think I said it in a way that wasn't <laughs> flammatory. So they're very interesting. I have a lot of feelings about how they've kind of built Isaac. So before we get into it, let me just say Platinum Showcases, they are never the reason you should be summoning for um, on a banner. So if you like the unit, you should see a prize showcase as a potential bonus. Um, if you don't, there's no reason for you. If you don't like the units on the banner, don't summon them. The prizes aren't good enough to justify you going in. And I say that as someone who has gotten the platinum th prize three times in a row, and every single one was the ingot that I did not care about, the chocolate one, the the one for five star weapons, the ones that I have no need for. So yeah, I'm a little salty on it. All right, let's go into the first unit. We got Isaac. He is a watchman from the Sylvan Holy Land of Inicio. I'm North Gracia, and the protector of the dragon Idrisil, a staunch advocate of Sylvan laws and tradition. He considers his sworn duty to pass them down to the next generation. All right, his skill one is a shareable six. It is called Weld of Fury. Um, deals damage to enemies directly ahead and activates one of the following effects at random. Increases the user's strength. Increases the user's attack rate, gradually recovers the user's HP, gradually fills the user's ga skill gauge. Uh, skill gauges. The skill also creates a buff zone that grants the same effect as the buff applied to the user by this skill. Um, so with the damage it does is 800 over one hit, and the damage uh, is 75 over for the four hits it does. Skill energy is 2,835, when it is a shared skill, it is 13,267. Uh, special effects, um, it's a strength, it, all of them are called Verger Blessing. It's a strength up of 5%, attack rate up of 5%, a HP regen of 2.9 seconds, a potency of 10, a skill charger which triggers every one second at a potency of 2%, and all of them last 10 seconds, that is the one that is applied to him. Now the buff zones he creates are all 10 seconds in duration, and it can be Verger's Blessing strength up. Um, which is 10%, an attack rate up, which is a 10%, a HP regen, which is triggers every 2.9 seconds at this potency of 20, and a skill charger, which triggers every 1 second, potency of 2%. Let's go for the rest of his kit, because his skill 2 is Lightning Hunt, deals damage to enemies directly ahead, damage is 1,500 over 1 hit, skill energy required is 7,475. Skill haste is 15%, his light pose shadow resistance 7%, which means any, anytime he's in a buff zone, um, shadow takes 7% resistance. No. It means you, you it reduces shadow damage taken by 7%. Sorry. Uh, Guardsman of Verdure 2. Using Wild Fury grants the users a strength amp with a maximum team amp level of 2. Also, the user's shadow resistance is increased by 5% when they are in a buff zone. Poison resistance 100%, poise strength 20%. So, Isaac. Here's my main. So the one that, the one obvious negative here is that his skill two um, is lacking. You cannot deny, even if you like this unit, you cannot deny the skill two basically doesn't exist. You're almost never going to use it because um, he's a support unit, and they decided to put all his support in skill one. Which is perfectly fine, even with random. I feel like the things he's giving sound very good, very useful, um, and could potentially be amazing. Uh, the problem is, is that we don't know if he is nihility proof. Now, ish, he should be, because his special effect is uh, Verder's Blessing, which is a specific name, and nihility specifically does not target. Um, Name skills usually. Uh, if you do not know what Nihility is, basically in Dragalia, a lot of end game content has this thing called um, Constitution of Nihility or something. I just call it Nihility for short. 
Uh, the C-O-N, if you see it uh, spelled out online a lot. Um, the problem with Nihility is that it removes every single buff from the user that is not a specific buff. And usually what they mean by specific buff, they mean it, it's named of some kind. So generic buffs are supposed to be what gets removed. But lately, it's it seems very random over what the game considers a specific buff, I guess. Um, for example, the brand new um, Samurai Girl that just recently released, which I'm forgetting how to say it. one moment because I'm so stupid. I can't believe I recorded this stupid video three times and every single time I mention her I forget it. I want to say it's Yama something. Yoshio, there you go. That's why I keep forgetting it. It's because it, I want to say Yorochi, but it's not Yorochi, it's Yoshio. Um, she had a buff that would give... Everyone thought that she was going to be immediately unimmune to nihility because it's like... Um, her skill 2 gave knockback, and it's shareable, and people were like, well, obviously that's going away. That's not going to be staying, and unfortunately that kind of kills a lot of her kit. Um, day of release, boom. It turns out, everything she does, she's 100% nihility proof for the most part. Um, and people go, okay, I guess. Didn't know that, she's nihility proof, cool. Uh, Galamaskil comes out. Um, everyone assumes he's a brand new Gal unit. There's no way that they wouldn't let any of his stuff get affected by Nihility, and it turns out, yo, totally, he loses one of his crit things to Nihility. So it's like, what are the rules? Nobody really knows. And that's kind of the problem with talking about someone like Isaac, because honestly, if you, without Nihility in the game, I think he's really good. I think he's really solid. Um, I'm not a big fan of random effects, but because he creates a buff zone, I think it's actually kind of cool what he does. Um, it's a very interesting kind of style of support. I don't like that his skill 2 does basically nothing. I think it should have given him something. Um, the unlimited access to strength amp is great. And that's what makes me fear that he's going to lose everything he has in skill 1. Um, and he be just becomes like a buff bot. Or strength amp and that's it and I don't think that's a very good way of designing a unit of saying this unit's basically basically gonna have zero skills but it's okay because he has strength amp. I don't think that's a good way of designing a unit so but the thing is I can't really complain about that because I don't know if he's immune to, to nihility or not so it's kind of becomes this Schrodinger's cat or I guess Schrodinger's nihility I don't really know this unit is both alive and dead at the same time. It is both 100% immune to nihility and at the same time 100% affected by it. So that's what's kind of been giving me pause and making me constantly redo this video because I really don't know how to address a unit like this. Because honestly he could either be great or he could just be straight up, I don't want to say bad, but kind of like disappointing. I guess personally I would find it very disappointing if his skill 1 was 100% hit by Nihility and all he was was a means to get strength amp on the team. I think that would be kind of lame and not befitting a character. I would never want it to happen to one of my favorite characters and if you're a big fan of Isaac, I know he's new to the story but this game is very much based off of the characters that you use, I think that's a bummer. I think that's a real, a real bummer and that's kind of my thoughts on it. I hope I was able to get that across properly. Tell me how you feel about it, but that's basically how I feel right now, is I really don't know how to feel about Isaac, because it's both good and bad, and it's gonna all 100% rely on him being immune to nihility or not. So, let's move on. And I hope I didn't make anyone angry with that. I don't know why I'm so... I think it's because I saw people talking about it, and I think I saw people getting pretty heated about it on both sides. So I'm kind of like approaching it as like, I don't know, man. I just want to have fun with the game. <laughs> I just want to use the units I like and have fun. But I also want to talk about them and kind of be informed and be like, okay, this is right, this is wrong, but, you know. Let's move on. Raphael. Um, one of the dragon known of the five archangels, optimistic, open-minded in nature, her physical, her physical might belies her talents for healing. She is currently on a journey to aid any and all with her angelic sucker. Thank you for the sucker. Uh, my wings beat to heal humanity's ills. You can heal me any day, giant angel mom. 
Angelic Justice deals damage to enemies directly ahead and immediately ready to use our second skill for use. Um, damage is 650 over one hit, 800 over one hit, and 950 over one hit. Um, light Strength is 60%. And Raphael's A2, if the user is attuned to light when the user takes damage, releases, uh, restores their HP and grants them the Raphael's Aid effect for 30 seconds. During Raphael's Aid, the user's defense is increased by 50%. After activating, the ability will activate again for 60 seconds. Uh, I think she looks pretty solid. I would love to have her <laughs> if I can get her. I'm probably not gonna end up summoning for her, but she definitely would be one of the angels I would want to get um, that are, that isn't featured. Um, the reason I'm not summoning in general is because the 1000 day celebration is coming up ahead and as much as I really want this unit, because just look at her, she's basically everything I want in a unit in a giant dragon woman form. Dragon, dragon, giant dragon archangel woman. Um, she's strong, she heals, she's nice. What's not to love, am I right? And she also seems to work with very specific units like Rise, um, which is the new newer Lance unit who's part of the this church dynamic here. Uh, she could be very useful with her. So it's kind of one of those things of like I would definitely love her. Uh, the problem is is trying to justify summoning for a dragon that is um, not on a scala banner is always very tough. So. Yeah, it's kind of my feelings on her. I would love to have her. I'm not going to be end up summoning for her, but if I get her randomly, I will gladly try her out. So, yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Um, there was a lot for me, and I, I feel like there was a lot of baggage coming to Isaac, and I feel like it's specific things that are going to... I just need them to start adding Nihility, because it, it feels deceptive to me. To not include if a unit is immune to nihility, because you know what would happen if a unit was turned out to be. You know what it would have happened if they had said that Gala Mascula was not specifically. Um, or like, let's say they really. Let's not even think about him. A brand new Gala unit. He has all this good ass. He or her has all these amazing skills, and it buffs them. It buffs the team. They look awesome, and then you look at them from the new section that says, by the way, this is all removed due to Nihility and they're actually very bad under it. And it kind of becomes, oh, well, I want to summon for this character anymore because they've kind of ruined them for um, high level end game stuff. And it's a bummer. I think it's a bummer for sure. Um, I feel, uh, if, if that's how I'm currently feeling. I don't mind it when a unit has half of their kit lost to Nihility and then the other half is perfectly fine. Um, it's just the fact that this skill 2 is nothing. <laughs> that's the part where it's kind of like, mm, It's kind of basic. But anyway, give me your thoughts. See you guys in the next video. You guys have a good night. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Goodbye.